Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubautrainings.com. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to create calculation views on SAP Business Application Studio. This series of videos are part of my exclusive training available on anubautrainings.com for SAP HANA Cloud Development with Cloud Application Programming Model on BTP and with Business Application Studio. So for the complete end-to-end -end training, you can contact us on anubautrainings.com. So let's start our today's session. What we have done by far in this series of episodes, we have created a HANA Cloud instance. We have updated and created a data model for EPM data with purchase order, purchase order item, and business partner along with product table. In today's session, I am going to create a calculation view into SAP Business Application Studio utilizing those existing objects. So let's switch over to the system and I will switch over back to Business Application Studio. So before I create a calculation view, let me show you my database tables which I have created in the system. So for that, I will open my SAP HANA Database Explorer tool where I have all my database tables present already in the system. So this is SAP HANA Database Explorer tool which replaces SAP HANA Studio permanently. And here is where we can see all our database tables inside container. And then we can go to tables and we can find all our tables over here. So what I will now do is I will use this table like purchase order and purchase order item or purchase order table and the business partner table to show you the total sales per business partner or per company in a calculation view. So we switch over back to the business application studio where we already created a cap project. And in this, we will go to the models folder and create our new calculation view. So we go to business application studio and choose find command and search for create SAP HANA database artifact. And over here, now we are going to choose our name of the calculation view, which we would willing to create, and also the type of artifact which we would want to create. So let's create here now a calculation view artifact. So we will choose here the artifact type as calculation view. And we will give the name of the calculation view over here. CV underscore PO orders. And you can see I will save it inside a proper folder structure, which is in my case the models folder. So in Business Application Studio, I'm organizing all my development in proper folder structures. And I will save it in the models folder. So let me go to models folder and give the path of the model folder. And now we will click on create. So this view is going to be of type cube. There are three types of views which are supported dimension, cube, and cube with star schema. So we are choosing cube. Click on create button, which will then eventually create the calculation view. So this is much better tool as compared to HANA Studio because it gives you much more broader features in terms of functionality as compared to HANA Studio. So the view got created. You can see purchase ORD and I will double click this view. So we are also using GitHub to organize and create versions of our, our artifacts. So all of this is covered in my detailed training, which you can join on anubautrainings.com. Yeah. So, okay, this is a already prepared view. I don't want to open. I want to create a new one. So I will go to CV purchase order. And here is where I will create all the artifacts. So what we will now do is we will create here projection. So you can see different types of nodes which are supported by SAP. And you can find out here all the different types of nodes. So I will add projection node. Then I will also add a, another projection node. And likely I will add one more. And first I will do a projection on my table. So I will add a table. Master data table I have 
and this is what I will do. So you can see sometimes you might get this error in BTP in Business Application Studio. So the reason is we just have to re-authenticate. Yeah. So to re-authenticate, you just have to go back to View, Find Command, or just open a new terminal window and go to your project, change directory, and my project name is POCAP app. And here I will do ACF login. So I'm using here my company SSO. So I will use the SSO based login over here. So you can see it is now using SSO and it is asking me to provide a token. So basically it will contact the single sign on service and it will fetch the token automatically and that token it will use to actually log in yeah, or authenticate me. So that is what the system will do. And you can see now it has been logged in successfully, which means we can come back now again and click on plus button on the on the projection. So let's maximize the screen and we will just add here host projection and I will choose master and I will just use my address and business partner table one by one. So first add the business partner table and then add a master data address table and then next we will add a join node so let's bring the join node and we will connect to our join node which is going to join our address and business partner data so we have to expose the fields which we want to uh, expose out so i will add node key then i will add the business partner id and company name and also address the second projection node which i have i will double click and expose from here the field like node key then city country yes and i guess this is all i need so now i go to my join node and here we will create the relation so we forgot to expose this foreign key relation which we have it in place for the for the business partner so now let's do the join and we will link this address GUID with the node key so just like hana studio we also have a possibility to is define cardinality so here it's one to one and the type of join i'm using is inner join on the next side now i've got a third projection node where i will get all the purchase orders so let me add all the purchase orders so i will choose transaction table and I have a purchase order table so we will just expose the properties from this table like gross amount so I can do shift and select with the mouse I can add also these properties of my choice and of course partner good which is which is the supplier of this and the status cool you can additionally add filters like you do in HANA which is also possible on the data nodes but we are not going into complicacy at the moment. You can do currency conversion, all those calculations in, 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 in the business application studio tool as well. So let's add the join node now. Another join node which will connect this data and also this data together. So here we come and we expose our first join projection and I will just expose everything. So you can drag drop or you can also double click and then you can go to the upper join node and connect our purchase order data with the business partner data so you can do that so let's connect the join node for the projection three to this join and let's join it's very very fast as compared to hana studio so next we will here connect our data so you can see here we've got all the data so we have partner GUID for purchase order which we will be joining with our uh, our business partner data so let's choose this partner GUID I might have to reopen this window okay so now let's do the join and I will say my partner GUID is going to connect to the 
node key of this table and this is also a one is to one relationship type fantastic so that's the join part and finally we can expose the properties from the join let's double click here and let's double click here as well so finally it's time to aggregate the data so we connect to the aggregation node and just add all the data to the output it's time to define semantics so i know that gross amount net amount and tax amount are my measures and accept that PUID is not my measure, so it's a dimension, so I will check it dimension. So this is how we can create it, and now you can see we have got our view created nicely in the system. We can just do a pretty printer, and it does the pretty printer also for us. Cool. So this is our calculation view, perhaps a very simple one, and it's time to deploy these artifacts. So you know the calculation views are design time artifacts, and when we deploy it creates a runtime artifact which is a cube and a column view so to do the honor we will click this rocket icon out there in business application studio which will trigger the deployment and yes it's done in two seconds and which means now we should have a cvpo orders created in our container so we go back to container and we just open columns view and we can see cvpo orders is out there we can open the data and the beauty of cube views are that you can also apply analysis so we can directly now check what is the total gross sales or gross purchase per or business partner or per company so which company is giving me how much sales so you can directly see the analytics out here this is the jetaco is the company which is giving highest sales to your company then you can further add let's say country and now you can see which country is giving me the highest sales so it's za where the highest sales of your company is coming from different types of analytics you can visualize out there in the system so i wanted to see per country per company contribution so we can also create a stack chart vertical stack bar over there in the system so if there are commonalities then it will create a stack but there is each combination is unique so this is the reason it's not doing the stack here for us yeah. so this is how we can utilize quick analysis directly in the output view for our data you want to see contribution for different measures in form of stack you can also see that out there you can see now the stack chart is coming up cool so this is how exactly we can view the data and test our view I hope you enjoyed this video on creating calculation view on SAP Business Application Studio and finally analyzing the output. For more interesting videos, please like, share, subscribe this channel. And I will see you in the next episode with more interesting topics on SAP Business Technology Platform with BAS. Thank you so much once again and catch you up in the next class.